can't do it. So. <laughs> You're already cracking up. Hey friendly foes, today we're going to talk about how to make your own beautiful picture frames for cheap using recycled thrift store art frames. Uh, if you've seen pictures of our house, you know that we frame nearly all of our art. A lot of the time we just get a standard frame, but when it's a weird size or we want something special, we make our own. So I'm going to go to Michael's and I'm going to look at the frame prices for comparison, and then we'll go to the thrift store and see if we can find something that'll work. Also, Jen tells me our videos have been way too long, so this is going to be... A short, short version. Um, a quick word on glass. There are three options for glass. There's real glass, plexiglass, and no glass. Uh, there are reasons for each option, but I'm going to use plexiglass today since it's cheap and easy to cut. Uh, you can always use the glass that comes with the thrift store frame, but you're going to need a cutter, and honestly, I am terrible at cutting real glass. I break it at least half the time. Of course, you can also skip the glass completely if you want. It looks especially great with original art, where you want to see the brush strokes, but since I'm framing pen and paper art today, I want to use plexiglass. Oh, and I should mention that I generally cut the glass first to size the frame. It makes things easier and it's, you're less likely to harm the art. Uh, I'm going to be framing this original art today by Stephanie Law. It's a weird size, something like 7 by 12, so let's see what we can find. So here I am at Michael's. I asked the salesperson about how much it would cost for a custom frame, just the framing glass in the size I need. He told me that for the cheapest basic frame, it would be $60. The most expensive frame, something big and ornate, would be $190. So let's go to the thrift store and see what they have. All right, you can see there's a pretty good selection here, and the prices are crazy cheap. I want something middle ornate, not square and boring, not too big and over the top. I also want to make sure it's wood if I can. Plastic is hard to cut and glue. Oh, and I should mention too that whenever I'm at a thrift store, I ask about pricing. I say, is that the best price you can do on that? It's a wonderfully non-offensive way of asking. If they say yes, that's fine. I pay what's on the sticker, but more often than not, they give me a discount. Just be nice when you ask. So, this is the frame I decided to go with. You can see it's quite a bit bigger than the art, and that's fine. I think I'm actually going to be able to uh, make two frames out of this. The price on it was about $10, but when I asked, they gave it to me for 5 which is pretty cool. So here I have a mid-size ornate frame that would probably cost about $100 at Michael's, if not more, and I got it for 5 bucks at a thrift store. All right, so before we get started, I want to go over some of the tools you're going to need. Um, they're all pretty inexpensive, and they're all things you're going to use around the house again in the future. So this is the first thing. This is what you're going to need to cut the frame. Um, it is a miter box and saw. Um, usually you can get this in a kit at Home Depot or Harbor Freight Tools for less than 10 bucks. Um, they're just, uh, it's good to have. If you have a real miter saw, a power saw, that's better. But this works just fine. I'm going to use this in the video. Um, the other thing we want to talk about is plexiglass. Very cheap stuff. You can get something this size, which will work for a lot of artwork for three bucks at Lowe's. Um, they'll even cut it for you if you bring in whatever size your artwork is. This is, uh, they have larger pieces. Um, they have different thicknesses and stuff, but overall it's, it's pretty cheap stuff. I bought a really big piece for this project for $15, I think it was. Um, other materials you'll need, you'll need a pair of pliers to pull out the staples from the one you get, a staple gun to put the art back in later on, a hammer to put in the sawtooth hanger towards the end, um, a little screwdriver to uh, take out the mounting bracket. Um, a little more of the complicated ones will be a square and an angle square like this. Uh, these are both very useful, but they're also only a buck if you go to like a dollar store. They're one dollar for this and one dollar for this. These are going to be to mark the angles for the frame as you cut them and to, uh, to cut the plexiglass if you end up cutting it. Um, you'll also need a sawtooth hanger um, unless you use the mounting hardware that came on the thrift store frame. And then finally some wood glue. Uh, this stuff, this is a big bottle so I think it was six bucks, seven dollars. They have smaller bottles for two dollars. They even have them at the dollar store for a buck. So that's about it. Miscellaneous things like pencils and stuff but Overall, not expensive stuff, not hard to find, um, and stuff you use around the house again. Well, that's all the stuff you need, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is take it apart. Uh, now, remove the mounting hardware and keep it. I don't think I'll need it for this frame, since the frame is pretty light, but it's always good to have. 
Next, cut the paper off the back, and if there are some, you start pulling the staples. This frame had like a hundred staples holding the art in, and uh, it's way too many. Uh, finally, pull out the backer board and glass and set those aside, because you'll need them later. Maybe not the glass, but you'll need the backer board. Next, I always cut the glass for the new art. Like I said, I'm using plexiglass, so just measure your art, measure the glass, score it with a sharp razor blade, and snap it. Now that I've got my glass, I can use that to mark off the frame. Since the glass has to sit inside the frame, we're going to make a mark on the lip. Next, we'll slide our angle square down the frame until we see the mark and draw a 45 degree line. This is the side piece of the frame. We'll use the glass again to measure the bottom piece of the frame, marking on the lip, sliding the angle square, and drawing a line. This is the bottom piece of the frame. Now normally I use a power miter saw because the cuts are easier, but today, since many of you don't have one, I'm going to use a simple miter box and a handsaw. It's more physical, it is more difficult, but you can get them for you know less than 10 bucks, and it still does basically the same thing. Um, I cut one side and then gently I separate the frame at the corner since it won't fit into my miter box. Uh, carefully line up your marks and cut. Now we're going to need another long side and a short side and the easiest way to measure that is with the piece you've already cut. Just line those up, make your new marks and cut. It really is very simple. Once you've got all four sides cut and even, lay them out, make sure your art and glass fit. Now, there are a few options for putting it all together. You can use nails or angle brackets or frame connectors, but most of the time I just use good old wood glue. Uh, put some glue on all four corners, push them together, and you're done. For larger frames, you might want to use a frame strap like this one, but as long as your cuts all line up, most of the time you don't need one. I should mention that because my saw was a bit dull, I got a little paint chipping on the corners. This won't usually happen with a power saw, but if it does, just hit it with a little touch-up paint using a small brush or Q-tip. Once it's dry, flip it over, set your glass in the frame, then set your art in place. Uh, finally, measure and cut your backer board and place that. Uh, to hold the pieces in place, you can use tape or tack or staples. I used four staples, one at each corner, because that's fine. You don't need a hundred staples to hold in a piece of art. Uh, next, use a sawtooth hanger or use the wire mount that came on the frame and you're done. Hang it up and think about the $95 you just saved yourself by doing it. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, that encourages you to make your own frames. It's easier to do and saves you a ton of money. Thanks so much.